Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Wednesday, September 7th. And I remind you that lots of great stuff can be found at fountainchurchtallahassee.org and join us every Sunday at 1030 for worship in this sanctuary or you can worship with us virtually or by drive up. We'd love to have you. My scripture today is John 6, 35. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. This is the word of the Lord. Well, I read an article in a nutrition magazine. It was titled, Foods That Contribute to Anxiety and Depression. Well, I had to see, what are these culprits? Well, they were the usual suspects. Foods that have too much sugar in them. Foods that have too much fat. Foods that are fried. Foods that you love. Well, that wasn't a category, but it almost seemed that way. And they listed in their listing of foods that can contribute to anxiety and depression, you know, breads and cheeses and dairy products and meats. And pretty soon I was thinking, well, what in the world is left? Oh, and then came the horrific moment. The number one thing to avoid if you don't want to have anxiety or be depressed. Carbonated sugary beverages. Horrors! Certainly they can't mean Dr. Pepper. <laughs> well, I don't think this article really broke any new ground for any of us. I don't know how strong the link is between any of these and anxiety and depression because I don't really have too much of either and I think I probably indulge in all the things on their list a little more often than I should. But it reminds us that we should pay attention to our health and it also reminds us that we already know what we should be doing to take care of our health. Just like our walk with Jesus Christ we already know what Jesus would want us to do in our lives. Oh, we claim that we're not sure. What would the Lord have me do? Well, all we have to do is start with the basics. Be forgiving, accepting, loving, kind, generous. Be faithful, worship, pray. Yes, oh, well, yeah, but besides that, what does Jesus want us to do? Well, let's start with the basics. Similarly, with our health, we may not eliminate all of those things. Obviously, there'd be very little left to eat. But we can start by modifying. And we already know how to do it. We know what to do. Just as in our faith, let's implement healthy practices. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that, first, that they were exaggerating. <laughs> no, I pray, Lord, that you would remind us how important it is to keep up our bodily health but also our spiritual health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.